This is a game that we've been working on. The story behind it is that the king of the kingdom loves his jam so much that he's eaten all of it and there's no more fruit left in the kingdom. So the chancellor, who's here on the right, has this machine that will turn anything into jam, and he finds out that if he turns monsters into jam, the king is especially happy. So it kind of takes him on this huge quest through the desert and through the forest, and this is one of the levels here where we're going to try and collect some of the really cool monsters, one of our favorites. His name is Hug, and you'll see him in the center of the screen here. He's just kind of sleeping. He's really adorable, and he's not moving. And this is basically the gameplay. So what you do in the game is you want to match monsters by moving them up and down on the platforms to get them together by color. So these yellow monsters here, we want to get them all in the same row at the same time. Hug presents a challenge, he doesn't move, so you have to make sure you time it right to grab him and the other monster and move them up at the same time. It's basically the most effective way to play these levels. So here that you can see that the levels get more difficult as you keep going along, it presents more challenges. And we feature new colors. So the colors are really interesting because you have to separate them. They have to be on their own rows with no other colors around them to capture them. So here you have yellow and purple, but what you're going to do is take the purple and move it up, and then the yellow at the same time, and you get a combo. And you can see here it's really cool, the uh, levels they kind of get more difficult. We don't really want to go for more monsters to make difficulty, what we wanted to do with this game is we really wanted to make it that there's the same amount of monsters, but the way that they move, the variation, and the different types of colors really makes for an exciting blend of thoughtful puzzles that will make you go back and keep playing. So a typical player might go through it and they might see this puzzle and they might just kind of, oh, I'm going to solve it. I'm just going to try and figure out the blue ones or I'm going to try and figure out the yellow ones. But a really good player is going to want to go back and figure out what's the combination that would make that a double combo, right? And how fast can I get through it and what's the most amount of points that I can capture? So what I'm going to do in this part of the puzzle is, even though I've screwed it up, I can stun monsters. And what that does is it stops any monster from moving. You can do it whenever you want, and that way you're never fully lost in the puzzle. So here I go, I just used that to solve this puzzle. So there, I've beaten the level now. I've gotten all the monsters in this area, and the Chancellor's going to turn them all into jam. So now I'll just put the royal stamp on this, and I'll show you another level. So this is the desert level. This is where the Chancellor finds himself after he's cleared the entire forest out of monsters. He basically goes back with all the jam and super proud of the work he's done. And King basically tells him that that's all well and good, but I'm going to need some more jam. So he ventures into the desert where he's never been. And the desert's really fun because we get to make all new monsters and present all new challenges and puzzles to the player. So this little dancing guy that you're seeing on the screen, his name is called Flicker. And so he dances, he loves to dance. He dances so much that he just never stops. He just goes back and forth and back and forth. It presents a really cool, interesting landscape for players to play with. So this monster right here in the center is called Selleck, and he's our ode to Tom Selleck, who's awesome. He has a stash, and he's crabby. He likes to walk around and then stop and slow down. So that's basically a quick run-through of it, and you'll just have to see more once we release it. Thanks.